Robertson's missed out again. Just one run off the over. 97 for one from 21. And uh, well, the third umpire, Kure, has asked to have another look at this. You can see there the foot bending back. I would have thought the batsman would have to be given the benefit of the doubt, and indeed he is. But I must say, it's very nerve-wracking for the batsman. Two on the on, three on the boundary, on the leg. He's hit it up in the air. This will be out as well. Yeah. Didn't really get it anywhere near the middle of the bat. And the West Indies are now definitely in the shallow end on the way to dry land. Another good wicket for the West Indies. Roger Harper brought back into the attack. The slow bowlers have been doing the job. John Toro is going for the big hike over the mid-wicket boundary. Didn't quite get hold of it. Didn't hit it far enough. And Jimmy Adams taking a very good catch. And isn't he happy? He has had a good game, Jimmy Adams. It's 196 for five. The big appeal and out to LBW. McMillan plays right back onto his stumps. And Harper's done it again and he's on a hat-trick. That was always going to be the danger to Roger Harper. He has not left those stumps on too many occasions. Van McMillan playing back, looking to tickle that ball down to the fine leg region and missed. There's not much doubt in this. Right back. Well, there's no doubt at all about that. It would have hit halfway up mid stop. 196 for 6. Out! Brilliantly caught, diving to his left. Three wickets in and over. Roger Harper has taken this game by the scruff of the neck and driven the West Indies into the semi-finals. That was excellent cricket from Roger Harper. We were seeing a game previously that Roger Harper had lost a lot of the sparkle in the field. He had dropped a few catches, but look at this. He has come right when he was really needed. That is a good catch. Made sure he put his hand on the ground and not the ball. You don't need anything better than that. It's 198 for 7. And that's a big hit. It'll be caught though. It will be. Roger Harper just playing with the air. A little slower. Jimmy Adams is the man at deep mid-wicket. And we've seen super catches out there today. Three of them. Two by Adams. One by Arthurton. Sean Pollock's a little bit annoyed. But what else can he do? Well, which schoolmaster told us all catches win matches? That's what it's all about. The pressure's on, the ball is up there. Quite simple, really, in a way, but uh, under the pressure of do you go through to the semi-final or not, then they are very, very important catches. 2.27 for eight.